research gave to the commercialization phase. Um, so really, typically people are doing all this research, but how is it being relevant for people's lives? Uh, so we have over a dozen academic partners, hundreds of uh, industry partners, and it's kind of our main focus area based at Syracuse University. I even know of a group from my hometown, Syracuse, New York, three people jumped in a What we did to come to Green Build is that we road tripped, you know, to cut our carbon footprint. Our entire exhibit that you can see fit in the back of a grand caravan along with the three of us. And um, camping stuff and <laughs> all of our clothes. <laughs> to kind of just reduce our impacts because if you walk around this exhibit floor people have shipped very very heavy exhibits from all over the country. Um, the exhibit itself is made from sustainable materials as well as repurposed materials. Um, so do as best we can to kind of green green. Instead of shipping the stuff and flying ourselves out here we drove it which saved uh, about a ton of carbon emissions and that's the equivalent to uh, taking about 58 cars off the road for one day so we were really excited about that reduction of our carbon footprint. Everything was done in house, so that's good. And uh, cork is obviously really sustainable. Um, everything was flat packed. We used a lot of repurposed material um, from the university and from a conference that we actually hosted. Um, Kelly's a designer, so uh, all this gorgeousness you see is all her brainchild. Yes, yeah, so all the inks, water based, no VOCs, etc. Not toxic. Not yeah. toxic. So I'm excited. We're all recent grads. Me and Kelly just graduated from SCU. Amy just graduated from St. Lawrence. So young, fresh blood at Greenville, we're excited to be here. Yep. For more information about our organization, you should visit SyracuseCOE.org. Or if you want to learn about our Greenville trip, it's greenbuildorbus.weebly, W-E-E-B-L-Y.